Hello Leo, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for, um, <laughs> for March, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, it is time stamped. This section is really for those that just kind of, you know, prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So that is in the description bar below, okay? As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. There we go. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there's sometimes, you know, just could be messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you and of course, of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go, because ultimately we, we create our own reality. Just give me a moment to finish laying these cards. I usually pull the, um, that deck last, so I'm just going to put that there. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to take these in and I'll be back. So Leah, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most, all right? Okay, so just as always, we look at the past, just looking at the recent past. So this could be either the recent past, when it comes to the bar, past, if I can speak, um, you know, this could be recent past, it could be six months ago, this could be a year ago, but this for me seems more about the recent past. There's an attachment that you've already built with this person or that you've established, represented by the devil card there. I'm not sure whether it's a codependent type of um, connection that you've established with them, but there's definitely this bond. Do apologise there about that. Yeah, definitely this bond, this attachment uh, that you've established with them. This unable to break free or unable to, it's like you're caught up, your, your emotions are very much caught up with this person. There's a need, usually when this happens, there's a, a need that they fulfill or that you're reliant upon um, in some way, shape, shape or form. And with that comes this overextending yourself, this, this giving, but giving too much to the point where you're overextending yourself. Yeah, where with your person, it's like, okay, you know, they, they I'm just going to do enough or I am doing enough uh, to maintain uh, where you're overextending. This person is doing enough to maintain. And that's because there's a lack of clarity around this for them. They can't see something. Um, I just want to pull one card on that just to, because that... <laughs> As I say that, this card comes out. Give me a second. Yeah. Unable to see whether this could uh, turn into something or even if they can turn it into something, whether they can. This is the magician. This talks about having all the resources and the um, tools in order for them to make something happen, in order for you to make something happen. And that's in there. That's on top of the, the moon. So there's, there's this whether they can make it happen. So, again, they're doing just enough to maintain, which brings us to where the current connection is as it stands. There is an opportunity to build something here, represented by the ace there. There's an opportunity to build something here. You're very much emotionally connected to this person. You've already established that. You're showing up as that. Um, but the thing is, it's like, okay, all right. Just looking at your challenge, it's this, inability to be able to get yourself out of this place. I feel like there's an attachment that's already been formed, like I already said, but it's not healthy. It's not, it's not good. It's not good for this. It's not something that you should not work on releasing. 
now not releasing this person now that's two different things when we're talking about releasing this person we're just talking about the releasing of this attachment it's unhealthy it's not beneficial to you or this connection predominantly to you because it makes you needy it makes you attach yourself um, and you give off that type of energy which they can feel and pick up on and just based on how they're showing up you know knight of wands excitement passion desire but not stable it's not a stable card it's not a committed card and that's the challenge that they're having they're having challenges around because there's options i feel like maybe this person has a lot of options which is causing this confusion but they're not taking the time to they're not slowing things down for themselves they're not taking the time to analyze process digest you know they're just kind of going with it they kind of getting themselves caught up in in all of this yeah but going back to you i feel like this is important here leo this is important because you know you ultimately you want to stand in your power and this strips you of that it strips you of that being attached because what happens is is then you're relying on something outside of yourself and we know with my channel we're not about that it's all about self-love it's all about you know, standing in your power. This strips you of that because it makes you reliant on someone else. You know, and to, to I'm gonna, I wanna, yeah, there we go. So there is, so, so it's like this walking away or leaving behind the emotional towards that ninth cup, which is emotional happiness, where you're content within your own self. So this person is a bonus to that, ultimately. Challenge around transformation, change around that for you. Currently, I always say currently because, you know, until we move into part two and get a fuller picture, things can change as well, energy changes, things shift. Um, yeah, so like I said, this person has a problem or a challenge and just slowing things down for their self. They get, caught up in you know the excitement and the passion of things but they're not it's like I, I i'm not in a place to give or make a commitment or solidify a commitment to anyone this person the options and that's going back to this this is like i'm not sure whether this person feels they have the ability because we do have the magician like i said it's this them not feeling like they have the tools to make something happen so I'm not sure what this person's past is like, but I feel like there's a level of belief that they're, I don't want to say not a good person, but they have not gained the experience or the tools or the knowledge in order for them to be able to offer something or themselves fully to someone. It doesn't, and you know, the, the, the dangers in that is, whether they're still going to pursue something and this person is that type it's like you know for want of a better analogy it's like i'm going to bleed on others be because i'm messed up not to say it's to that degree but it's that type of thing this person's not going to slow it down because you know it has an effect on you or has an effect on others they benefit from it they're enjoying it so it's like they're not going to be mature enough to be able to do that so this is why it's important for you to deal with this. Yeah. They're wanting to wait for something to happen. It's like they're aware of this to some degree. They're aware of this to some degree. Still looking to pursue you. Still looking to engage in this, let's say that. There is that communication cause. So there's something around them wanting to communicate or communicating something yeah still have their eye on you still going to engage in this but something around communication and waiting for something to happen for you you're not wanting to acknowledge this as yet you're not wanting to acknowledge you know it's like i want to keep that hidden i'm not ready to acknowledge that i'm not ready to see things So these are the types of readings where I had wished I had implemented part two, or the extended version, just so I can see how this plays out. Because, you know, this here for you, Leo, 
you know, pay attention to this. Yeah, pay attention to this. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful day and I shall see you next week. Bye. Ooh.